Hi friends. Um, I tried to do a live on Facebook and it wouldn't let me. So I'm just going to do a video and I'll post that instead. Um, which is probably better because I'll get real distracted seeing you all hop on. It's been such a long time since I've done a video. Um, I tell y'all every time I'm like the worst makeup salesperson ever. I just love this makeup. Um, and I'm not very, <laughs> I'm not good at the salesy stuff. So, um, I just like sharing it with y'all because I think it's fun. It's a hobby. Um, I am getting ready to go to the doctor, um, and gonna go grocery shopping. I have on athletic pants and a comfy shirt and my one of my favorite comfy green cardigans. I'm gonna do an eyeshadow look with some greens and um, just get ready. I'm using the line brush. I um, did my eyebrows super quick with oak. I don't know what that looks like whenever it flips back, but um, anyway. Never did my eyebrows before Saint, and now I have the confidence to do it because I have the tools, and um, I don't feel like it's overcomplicated at all. Um, all right, so I always do my eyes first, so I'm going to do that with y'all today. Um, I'm probably not going to tell y'all the names of the brushes that I use because I like them all. I am going to... Um, kind of dab this in my brush cleaner. I love this little thing. This is on sale right now for 30% off. Um, it's great for switching out eyeshadows because I don't always like to have um, microfiber cloths. Hold on, I'll show you what that looks like. Um, this is a mi microfiber cloth. You can tell I use it to clean my brushes and I don't have to wash them all the time. Um, all right, so I'm going to start by priming my eyelids and I'm going to use um, just a regular 3D brush. This is the one that um, I find myself using most often now. I used to use the buff brush a lot and I still do. But I find like for just quick everyday looks, I'm really liking the um, the 3D brush. It's just really easy to use. Um, so I'm going to tap into my brightening highlight and go all over my lid. Um, one thing that I have like doing, I didn't do it on that eyelid. It's a good little comparison, right? Um, I like to... Um, put the vanilla dust setting powder on my eyelid first and then go in with the brightening because I have super hooded eyes and because I have super hooded eyes my eyeshadow likes to um, crease it doesn't matter what like what I do it's because when I close my eyes, that crease goes so deep. Um, and this little method technique just kind of helps it not do that. By setting it first and priming with that um, brightening highlight. And then um, putting vanilla dust setting powder on it just really um, sets it. So I'll get rid of these. <laughs> under eye circles in just a minute but you can see so like you can't see any of those blue veins on my eyelids all right so i'm gonna go into um cupcake and it's very similar to the vanilla dust setting powder and if i wasn't doing this eyeshadow look to be completely honest with you i would probably just use the vanilla dust setting powder but I want to show you this whole little look that I found. Um, so I'm going to put that all over my lid in like no rhyme or reason in the application. All right, so there's that. The next color that I'm going to use is called Bubba. Um, in the tin, this is one that I used to be like, mm, that's ugly. But it is like the perfect transition shade. And especially if you're someone who's looking for like a natural eyeshadow everyday look, this is my go-to. Um, and so I'm putting this 
um, because I have hooded eyes, if I put it in my crease, you won't be able to see it. Um, so I'm putting it above my crease and just going just like that. Okay. Same thing above the crease. And then I kind of pull it down to, it just helps with the transitioning, I guess, with the other colors. Okay. Look in the big mirror to make sure my phone isn't deceiving me. Okay. Alright. So, the next color I'm going to take is called Zion. This is another one of my favorites. If you, um like cheetah print. Um, I feel like this is one of those colors that goes good with any type of outfit like that. And so I'm going to take this and put it in my crease and on the corner. And Jacob's calling me because he realized that I'm not in there. He'll be in here in a minute. <laughs> he just said, mom, mom dad. or dad. <laughs> We have had a really good Christmas break. We have not done anything of any like significance. We just have kind of stayed home. Okay. All right, so there's that. Now I'm gonna use this emerald and this is a green, but it's, you know, don't let the colors and the, um, tins for you or scare you not for you all right so I'm gonna put it in my crease just like that along that bottom lid okay and it just gives it just a little pop of color Same thing on the other eye. Okay. All right. I like how that turned out. I'm going to do some of my, um, Lash, bottom lash line also. I'm going to take that Bubba and just come. Jacob, are you knocking on the door? I'm sorry, this is Zion, not Bubba. And if you do your eyeshadow first, you don't have to worry about making too much of a mess because you're going to uh, clean it up. So I'm gonna take just a little bit of that Emerald City and put it on the corner. Okay, really like how that turned out. Alright, so um, I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on and I will be done with my eyes. I use, oh, let me see if I can find that other one. I really like that one too. I got one in my, um, do y'all do Etsy? Etsy. <laughs> what is it? Um, I completely lose my mind whenever I get on here can't ever remember those little bags that you get with makeup in them I did like a full year last year um actually right before I started selling Saint and um I like bought the full year as like a gift to myself for Christmas and um to be completely honest I don't like most of the stuff that I get in it um it's a subscription. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyway, occasionally I do get stuff in it that I really like. 
and this mascara was one of them. It's called Surfer Girl uh, Tarte C. Normally I use um, L'Oreal Double Extend Mascara. Sorry, Saint does not sell mascara, so you can use. You can enjoy trying them all out like I have over the years and then most of the time end up disappointed <laughs> and go back to what I like. Okay. Mascara always just kind of sets it. For me, if I could only do one thing, I would do my mascara. It's the thing that makes me look most awake. Okay. I'm going to come down here on my bottom lash line just a little bit too. Um, so, so far this video has been 11 minutes long and it would not normally take me that long. But, that's where we're at. Okay, so that's the eyeshadow look. I am going to do the rest of my face. This won't take long. Same 3D brush that I used earlier. I'm going to go into my... You know what? I want to do some spot correcting first. So I'm going to go into um, Aspen. I should have already pulled that out for y'all. I think this is it. Um, Aspen is the perfect color corrector if you have some like really... Um, bad breakouts or um, Aspen and Fringy both. Now, you know, I'll never lie to y'all. I'll always tell you the truth. I do not really care for Fringy as a lip color on me. Looks gorgeous on like blondes, but I've got some down here too. Um, but not on me. So, If you are, um, I oh, see I cannot talk and do this at the same time. If you are a blonde and you want to try Frenchie, go ahead. But if you need it for color correcting, highly, highly recommend it. Um, I have used Frenchie and let me do that for color correcting my eyes. Artist palette, sorry. Um, this is Frenchie right here. And so it is a matte. So it's not glossy when you put it under your eyes or over your breakouts. It just neutralizes them and makes them hide. So I'll do that real quick. Okay, already tons better just by doing that. Um, okay, so... I will go back into my main highlight now, and I've already dipped into it, and so I'm just going to go all over. Typically, you would put your main highlight anywhere where a man's beard would be. Um, I tend to go up a little bit higher because you can tell I've got some redness in my cheeks up here. My main highlight is June. In June, in my opinion, color, color, covers better than a lot of, of, um, other highlights. So if, if June is not your main highlight, like it is for me, it's like the color of my skin. You can tell because it matches my neck. Um, if it's not your main highlight, but you're looking for something to color correct with, I'm going to come back with my brightening to cover up that um, Frenchie in just a minute. Then you might want to try June underneath as a color corrector and then um, go over that with your main. Okay? Alright. So, I always like, I hate when I miss that area in there. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to use, that's my main, and you can tell, like, there's still some pink up here, and right here where I'm going to put my brightening. 
So I'm going to use this little end right here for my brightening highlight. I'm going to start at my chin and I'm just going to put it there and I'll come back and blend it in a minute. I'm going to put this a dot here, a dot there, there, and there, just like that. Go make like this little triangle shape right here in the middle of my forehead and then come down my nose. Okay, and then I'm gonna use this to blend. So what that does is makes the center of my face look the center and underneath my eyes where I have um, some darker spots and makes it look brighter um, right down the center of my face and underneath my eyes. You want to be careful whenever you're putting makeup underneath your eyes, especially if you're like me and you're starting to show signs of aging or um, you're older and you're showing signs of aging. The more makeup you put underneath there, the more it sets in your wrinkles and makes you look older. So just, you know, you want to find a makeup that does more with less. Alright, so that's my main color and my brightening. I'm going to use this same brush and go into my contour color. Um, contour is really scary for people who've never used it before. I promise you, if I can do it, anybody can. Alright, so I'm going to come across the top of my forehead just like this. And there are ways to help you figure out like how to place it so that way you feel more comfortable um when i first started wearing saint i would like do dots and then um would blend it all in all right so now i'm going to put it on my cheek line um some people do like that to find theirs um i've been doing this you know enough now to where I know how to do it where it goes I don't have to find it anymore so let that be encouragement for you that um, you know once you start contouring see it um it may take you a little bit longer in the beginning than you would like for it to but the more that you do it the the more like natural you get and you don't have to worry about it, like placement as much. And you'll experiment with it too. And the beautiful thing about this makeup is that it is super forgiving. So, like, I kind of feel like I went down too far right there with this. So, I can take this where I did my brightening highlight and come up a little bit. And it's fixed I can also like take my finger and wipe it because until it sets you can move it around okay so I may come back and do a little bit more contour in just a minute but for now all right so this is gonna help hide my double chin so you can see it there then you can see the difference that blend 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 I also like to take a little bit of my contour and just go straight down so what that does is it kind of makes your neck <laughs> appear um, more um, snatched <laughs> I think is the term um, it's just one of those things to make you look slimmer and let's be honest, I need all the help I can get. Okay, so my face looks like it has definition. Now I just kind of want to add a little bit of color to it. Um, I'll use Frenchie again since that's what I use to color correct. Um, you can use this same brush to do your, um, to do your blush. Um, and so you just take it and put it above your contour. Okay. All right. I feel like that looks really natural. I love the way that Frenchie looks as a cheek color. Um, 
I will try to use Frenchie as a lip color. We'll see how it goes. Oh, I need to contour my nose. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos recently, you know there haven't been a whole lot. Um, I like to use the smudge brush to do my nose contour. And I use the flat end, you can tell. I just dip, dip, dip. And the reason I like it is because it blends as I put it on. And I don't have to do a whole lot of blending. Okay. So that's done. I'm also going to take this same thing and put some underneath my lip. It puts a shadow underneath my lip and it looks like my bottom lip is plump. <laughs> um, I'll show you another trick with the lip color in just a minute. Okay, so that's um, full face. I'm going to do some lips and I'll be ready to go to the doctor okay so um i like the multi tasker multitasker brush yeah um for doing lips i'm gonna contour my lips just real quick with my contour color you can use a darker lip color you could use um a bronzer like bella bronzer Or you could use um, your contour, like I am. A lot of people use their contour to do their eyebrows. I don't dislike using it for my eyebrows. I just like the um, that oak better. Hey, little boy. Hey, Mama. <laughs> I'm looking for uh, my Kindle. You are? Yeah. Put my sword right here. Put your sword over there. Okay. Yeah. If, if you're still here. Yeah. I was coming here. Get it. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So because Frenchie is a satin, it's a matte color, I really recommend that you use some sort, if you're just going to use that, hey, sweet boy, um, if you're just going to use that, I recommend that you put some sort of gloss or chapstick or something on it. Um, hold on, baby. I really like, um, okay, go get Daddy to help, okay? I'll be done in just a minute. Um, I really like using um, our lip conditioner. We have peppermint and cherry. Um, I think I'm going to use... Mm. Let's see here. Mm, I know which one I'm going to use. This is my favorite. It is, mm, I hate to tell y'all this, it's out of stock right now. This is what, this was in the Advent colors. It's called Sunshine State. And um, I love it. It's got just a little bit of shimmer to it. And y'all, I could use just my contour and the Sunshine State. I'm very happy with the way that looks, but I want to show y'all Frenchie, so um, I'll do that. But I love these half tins because, let me show you why. The This is your palette, and I like having a small palette to travel with. I don't care, like when I go, I don't carry my artist palettes. Um, I carry like one of these or maybe like an 18 palette. Um, so you can put, this is half of that, and you can put a ton of these little ones in there. And they last, like, these I've had for a year because I've been an artist for a year. So, um, yeah, you can, I like the half tins. Um, I wish that they would put, give options for a lot of things in half tins. I think it would be the opportunity that a lot of the ladies who try Saint, they want to try it, but you're committing to a full size tin. And, um, yeah, so let's try this Frenchie. Um, I am, mm, I have a half ton of Frenchie too, so I may try it. Make sure that's Frenchie. Nope, that's pink grapefruit. I thought I had a half ton of Frenchie. Maybe I don't. Oh, I do. I see it. 
da 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 This is why these videos are so long. You know that whenever you watch one of these that you're getting the real thing because ain't nobody got time to make it perfect. Okay, so this is Frenchie. Um, it is, it's a pretty color. So we'll see what it looks like. I really like it for color correcting and for lips. Okay. Yeah, baby. I love you. I love you. I also recommend that you all have a little boy because they love their mamas. It's not bad. Oh, my lip contour in that sunshine state. So, I like the multi-purpose brush because it gets right in there. Huh, I had to give Frenchie another chance. I'm sorry, Frenchie. I really think the contour on the outline in the Sunshine State really made it fit my color palette a little better. And probably using it as my, um cheap color probably made it look a little less um what's the word I'm looking for like um I don't know it kind of made my lips look washed out before and it doesn't now so all right um I'm going to put a little bit of highlighter on and they used honey in that palette that I wanted to show you so let me get the honey it's also one of my favorites. Mm. Should have went ahead and pulled this out for y'all. All right, so that's Honey. Um, I'm going to use that same brush that I was using earlier. This is the blend brush. And I'm just going to put it right there. And it gives just a little bit. So you can tell. It's like where the light hits. Um, it makes you look younger. It makes your face look more vibrant. I like this brush for doing it because it prevents you from putting on a whole bunch. And then I'm going to take a little bit and put it right there. Okay. All right. Finish look. 27 minutes. Sorry. It's a lot longer than what I wanted it to be. But um gave you guys the opportunity to kind of see a little bit of everything. I haven't done that in a while. Um, I hope y'all are having a wonderful Christmas break and going into New Year's with your families. Um, enjoy your time. Um, I look forward to kind of seeing you all and interacting with you in the new year. Um, hope you all have a beautiful day. Talk to you later. Bye.